Hey guys, we're going to talk about the Cricut Explore 3 and why it can be a very useful tool in 3D printing. Wonder why? Join me inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to talk about the Cricut Explore 3. Well basically the Cricut, period. Um, so you're probably sitting there wondering like, Mike, the Cricut's not a 3D printer, why would I use this in 3D printing? That doesn't make any sense. Well, we're going to talk about it today, and then we're going to talk, cut over some video from a live stream where I actually unbox the Cricut and take a first look at it. So, I haven't gotten to use it yet, but I have a plan for it, and that's what I'm talking about with today. So, if you're curious to why this is going to work and all kinds of other 3D printing stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us here as we talk about 3D printing and all kinds of stuff, and we're getting the channel back on track. So. The move is done, we're in the new new area, still putting stuff together, but we're almost back to full operation. So make sure you also, if you haven't, if you've subscribed and you do wind up liking this content, hit that thumbs up and you know, leave a comment. The comments help us get out there, more people see it. So even if you just stop and say hi, that'd be awesome. So keep that in mind, but let's hop to why the Cricut and 3D printing. So the Cricut and 3D printing. Why am I bringing this to the table today? Well, the reason why I'm bringing it to the table today is not that it's, in a way, it's its own kind of printing because you're printing cutting vinyl and different things like that, but it, I'm more looking at the Cricut for my use at finishing a print. So one of the things I run into with 3D printing is posting, post finishing, and making things look awesome. And with that coming awesomeness, basically, uh, a shortcut can be great. And one of the main reasons why I bought the Cricut is this right here, stencil film. Stencil film. So basically I can use a Cricut to custom print stencils. Then I can paint cosplay armor, small ships, different things like that to make my job easier. And that's kind of the key because let's be honest, I can do the water transfer decals to make the name for the Galactica here, but also I could use just the Cricut white vinyl and cut the letters and have them on there looking perfect. So it does allow for a shortcut. If you're looking at helmets, say a Mandalorian helmet, and you want to make a really awesome vinyl overlay for your cosplay armor that you printed, the Cricut can do that. And it kind of gives an added layer because the Cricut's materials is not just iron on anymore. The Cricut has all kinds of pressable vinyls with different materials, but also one of the cool things I found about it was dry erase vinyl. So basically I can press this on and then use dry erase markers and change stuff. So it's kind of a cool thing to kind of work with, but even just working with the white. So if I wanted to make a uh, Bo-Katan's helmet with the owl, I could actually make a vinyl decal that will fit over a printed helmet, give smoothness because of the vinyl, and also just kind of make it different ways to work. But also think about looking at like, and I'm picking on cosplay a lot here, and ship models and stuff like that with where detailing can be very difficult. This is kind of a way to step in and kind of help that. Now the Cricut Explorer 3, it's got a pretty hefty price tag of $299. It's a pretty expensive machine. There are other Cricuts out there. But this is the one we went with. And if you start looking at it, the basic toolkit for the Cricut is about, in store, you'll find it for about $26. Head out to Amazon, I found it for 10 bucks. So there is kind of a little bit of basic tool. So you're looking at, for films and stuff like that, you're looking at about a $350 investment with if you go with the Explorer 3 or if you go with one of the cheaper ones. Because a thing of material like this costs about $9. Um, you notice I have quite a bit back here because Michael's had a bunch of this on sale for 50% off. So I went and snagged a bunch of it up. So, because you've got iron on, so if you're doing stuff for fabric underneath, but you're also cutting a material. So I'm weighing this in with the laser etching and different things like that to kind of give the touch that this is what's going on. This We're cutting a material to augment your 3D print. That's where the Cricut comes into play. But it's not just an augmentation, it's also a shortcut. So the shortcut is, I've taken white vinyl, cut this. I didn't have to sit there and try to paint a perfect circle. 
Now I have a stencil I can lay onto my print, paint, and peel the stencil off. That's pretty cool, especially for helping make custom designs. And that's what 3D printers, that's what we're doing. We're making custom cool crap. So yes, um, and any tool to kind of help augment that, I tie into 3D printing. Now I'm gonna take it over to model building too, but 3D printing is kind of the game here with this. How can I make printing and doing the finishing easier? Because let's be honest, for me, finishing is the hardest part with going through and getting the model complete. Because I'm one of those perfectionists that the model's never really finished, but the Cricut offers a shortcut and offers precision to helping finish out a model and, and get a piece of armor or a model kit or something finished with that nice clean look. So it's one of the tools that I wrap into 3D printing, but also can be a very great little handy tool. So definitely check it out. Um, believe me, it's kind of one of those things. <laughs> um, we got the Cricut and it's not just gonna be used for 3D printing in this house. My wife, Megan, is very interested in using it for her own stuff because the Cricut has multiple uses with this vinyl with making cool art um, and just scrapbooking, all kinds of things, shirt design with iron press on designs and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot that the Cricut offers. I just wanted to pull to this one little point of why it can be very useful to a 3D printing crew. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let's hop over to the unboxing clip and I'll catch up with you guys at the end. Let's bust the tape off and let's get this guy out of the box. So, it comes with some test samples of different vinyls to kind of test out and work with. You guys can see we, we bought some already because we were at Joanne's Fabric and we found the um, a lot of those tubes that I showed earlier on sale for about half price. So, and in here is the book, so let's get started, and another test sample piece of the uh, Smart Vinyl, which I have a tube of. So kind of taking a look at it. You gotta go to activate your machine, you gotta go to cricket.com and set up, and they've got all the tutorials there, so kind of cool thing to keep in mind. And uh, warranty book, okay. So I'm kind of hoping there's not a whole bunch of this machine, but we'll take a look and we'll find out because we gotta kind of see what's going on. This is a cut, basically a cutter almost, and it's really gonna be kind of, uh, kind of fun. Um, if this thing pans out, Doug, the way, the way we're thinking it is, yeah, there, there very could likely be a second one, but it's got to pay for itself first. So I'm going to set this down on the floor. I'm going to slide it out of the box. Get it up on my hip here. Pull that nice sticker off. is shrink wrapped taped. All right, looks like it is USB only, so no, uh, no network attached. I love how slender this is. That impresses me. Figure out how to get this other piece off. But essentially, like I said, the goal for me is uh, stencils. That is my goal. Remove. Nothing like pulling new stickers off new toys. So, and then we've got power cord. Very nice power cord. And this is impressing me. They sent the USB cable. It looks like just a standard USB A to B. So we got the standard USB A to B cable. I'll bring the Cricut in here closer. You guys can see, pretty nice, simple, nice, long. This is the Explore 3. Um, there are multiple versions of the Cricut out there. Um, this is the one that I chose. 
press the button, it opens up. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's like a spaceship. That is just cool. All right, reach in here, get this foam out from A and B. I'm assuming that's our cutters. All right, put that back down. So, All right, guys, so we've got it out of the box. We've got the toolkit. I love that it has a built-in holder. So that's the Cricut. That's why we're tying it into 3D printing and why we're gonna be using it in this. So it is a very effective way to cut some corners, make, some, make sure you're getting some clean precision, and also just make what you're working for look nice. So stencil paper, vinyl press-ons, all kinds of fun stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content and how I'm trying to tie this into 3D printing and utilize it. Um, if you guys have other ideas, definitely leave it down in the comments below. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And again, like always, thank you guys. Hit that like button if you liked it. And we will see you guys in the next video and it's good to be back.